Hey guys, Mark Bennett here. What I wanted to tell you about today was how I funded my first business back in 2005. 10 years ago, I've been in business for 10 years. And 10 years ago, I just knew that I needed to work for myself. I had no idea how I was going to do it. I had didn't have bad credit. I just had no credit. I had just gotten myself $50,000 out of debt by working three jobs and 78 hours a week. And I decided that I wanted to do something on my own and become my own boss. So I knew I wanted to open my first tattoo parlor. And I had worked in tattoo shops as a body piercer for a lot of years. And I knew that I could do it better than anywhere I worked. And so I was out to open my first uh, tattoo shop. And you can imagine no one wanted to lend me money <laughs> to open a tattoo parlor. Especially since I wasn't a tattooer. I was only a piercer. But I knew that I could do it. So... This is not the best way, guys. Do not – you take this advice with a grain of salt. For me, luckily, I had these high credit availability on my credit card because I had just had $50,000 in credit card debt that I paid off strictly through working my butt off to earn enough money to make the payments, et cetera, et cetera, and a, a bunch of other things that happened that I'll let you know about. But basically, it was just working to pay it off. No bankruptcy, no nothing like that. So I had available credit, and I actually cash advanced on the credit cards almost $40,000 to open my first business. So my point is that I don't think you should – cash advance your credit cards because it's crazy interest you're paying. It's a lot of money in case the business fails and you're still personally responsible for it. But I had a vision and I had, I knew that I could do it. I, I knew that I had it in me to make it work. And here we are 10 years later. And now I own two tattoo parlors, a laser tattoo removal clinic, a barber shop. I'm opening another barber shop in August. And all this came from the certainty that I had about I knew I could make it happen and I put that knowledge and certainty into my own – using my own credit unwisely. It just happened to work out for me. My point is, is if you know you can do it, go for it. Do whatever it takes but don't charge your credit card. You didn't get that advice from me. That's just how I did it. Anyways, I hope this was helpful. And uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Later.